Banning a movie instantly makes it more notorious. People begin talking about it, perhaps they attempt to hunt it down, even show it on a Friday movie night. However, some movies are just straight up illegal to own, maybe even to watch in specific countries. So today on Top 5 Scary Videos, I'm going to be counting down our list of the top 5 scary horror movies that are illegal part 4. Before we begin though, be sure to stick around until the end of the video where I'll be responding to some of your comments. And with that, Let's jump in. Coming in at 5, Land of the Dead 2005. Land of the Dead is a 2005 post apocalyptic horror movie written and directed by George A. Romero, the fourth of Romero's six Living Dead movies. It is preceded by Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, and Day of the Dead. The story deals with the zombie assault on Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where a feudal like government exists. The survivors in the film have fled to the Golden Triangle area of downtown Pittsburgh. The region is protected on two sides by rivers and on the third by an electric barricade that survivors term The Throat. Land of the Dead is the first film in the series to receive an MPAA rating for its theatrical release. The more extreme instances of gore were obscured by foreground elements filmed on blue screens, so that these overlaid elements could easily be removed from the unrated DVD. So why exactly was this movie so controversial? Well, According to Variety, the movie was banned for its portrayal of cannibalism, not because of its scenes of humans getting devoured, but due to concerns that such content would bring up negative memories surrounding the holiday. Doma, a wave of famine which struck the nation in 1933. In Germany, both the theatrical and unrated versions were rated 18, and in Ukraine, the film was outright banned. Coming in at 4, Hostel and Hostel Part 2. Hostel is a 2005 slasher film written and directed by Eli Roth. It is also the first installment of the Hostel trilogy, followed by Hostel Part 2 and Hostel Part 3. The plot essentially follows a mysterious organization that tortures and kills kidnapped tourists, specifically three friends who are traveling across Europe. Now, as you would expect, a lot of Europeans had issue with the first Hostel movie for making the continent seemed like a depraved, torturous place where Americans go to die. However, saying that, it was only in Ukraine that the movie pissed enough people off for it to be banned outright. Both Hostel and its sequel were outlawed in the country for its excessive torture, as well as for depicting Ukraine as a place where tourists disappear for money. Let's discuss Hostel Part 2 though. Released in 2007 and directed once again by Eli Roth, the plot follows three American female art students in Rome, who are directed to a Slavic village where they are kidnapped and taken to a facility in which rich clients pay to torture and kill people. The film has been restricted to adults in most countries, however it has been cut in Germany and the German extended version has subsequently been banned in Germany. A court in Munich ruled the release of the film to be punishable by law. The film was then banned outright in New Zealand upon a submission to the ratings board, after the distributor refused to make cuts in order to receive an R rating. On October 8, 2007, the film was cited in the House of Commons of the United Kingdom as an example where stills from the film could be illegal to possess under the proposed law to criminalize possession of extreme pornography. Coming in at 3, The Devils 1971. The Devils is a 1971 British historical drama horror movie directed by Ken Russell and starring Oliver Reed and Vanessa Redgrave. The film is a dramatized historical account of the rise and fall of Urbane Grandia, a 17th century Roman Catholic priest executed for witchcraft following the supposed possessions in Loden, France. It also focuses on Sister Jeannie de Angie's, a sexually repressed nun who inadvertently incites the accusations. The Devils was partly adapted from the 1952 non-fiction book The Devils of Loudoun by Aldous Huxley, and partly on the 1960 play The Devils by John Whiting, also based on Huxley's book. The film faced harsh criticism upon its release from the national film rating systems due to its disturbingly violent sexual and religious content, and originally received an X rating in both the United Kingdom and the United States. It was also banned in several countries and in turn heavily edited for release in others. The explicit sexual and violent content paired with its commentary on religious institutions resulted in the film suffering significant censorship. Commenting on the movie's nature, Reed stated, We never set out to make a pretty Christian film. Charlton Heston made enough of those. The film is about twisted people. The movie has actually never received a release in its original uncut form, saying that critics dismissed the film for its explicit content, though it did go on to win the awards for Best Director at the Venice Film Festival, as well as from the US National Board of review. The Devils received critical backlash upon its release due to its outrageous, overheated and pornographic nature, and went on to be publicly condemned by the Vatican. Coming in at 2, Ilsa She-Wolf of the SS. 
Ilsa She Wolf of the SS is a 1975 Canadian Nazi exploitation sexploitation film directed by Don Edmonds and written by Jonah Royston. The plot centers on Ilsa, a commandant of a Nazi prison camp who conducts sadistic scientific experiments designed to demonstrate that women are more capable of enduring pain than men are, and therefore should be allowed to fight in the German armed forces. Ilsa She Wolf of the SS has received primarily negative reviews, as you would expect, and holds a 36% approval rating on Rotten Tomatoes. The Independent Film Journal described it as only the most dangerously sadistic mentalities will manage to sit voluntarily through more than 10 minutes of Ilsa She Wolf of the SS, a graphic, stomach churning catalogue of Nazi medical atrocities that makes Texas Chainsaw Massacre look like a Sunday picnic. Theatres catering to the lowest possible grade of audience could make a bundle of dirty money. Others would be wise to forget it. However, more interesting still, the film's director Don Edmonds described the movie screenplay as the worst piece of shit I have ever read. Interesting. It is certainly not hard to see why this movie was banned, with the commander literally torturing prisoners in an effort to prove their threshold for pain, in turn being rejected in multiple countries even to this day. If I were you, I'd stick clear of Ilsa She Wolf of the SS. And finally, coming in at number one, Freaks 1932. Freaks is a 1932 pre-code horror movie produced and directed by Todd Browning. For those who don't know, pre-code refers to the period of time in Hollywood where film was transitioning into talkies. And it was no holds barred. Films could get away with so much without there being any repercussions. That was until the code authority came along and changed everything. However, I digress, we'll return to that later. The movie itself follows a trapeze artist who joins a group of carnival sideshow performers with a plan to seduce and murder a dwarf in the group to gain his inheritance, but her plot proved to have dangerous consequences. The film is based on elements from the short story Spurs by Todd Robbins. The movie was given a test screening with audience members reacting negatively to the movie's grotesque content. In response to this, the movie was significantly cut and additional footage was incorporated. However, despite the cuts made to the movie, Freak still garnered notice due to the fact that its eponymous characters were portrayed by people who worked as sideshow performers and had real disabilities. Due to this, the film was banned in the United Kingdom for over 30 years and was labelled as brutal and grotesque in Canada. Although it received critical backlash, Freaks was subject to reappraisal in the 60s and has since been shown frequently throughout the United States as a midnight movie. As of right now, Freaks holds an approval rating of 94% on Ron Tomatoes, with the general consensus reading, Time has been kind to this horror legend. Freaks managed to frighten, shock and even touch viewers in ways that contemporary viewers missed, and still holds true. Freaks, in my opinion, is one of the most important pieces of horror cinema and still remains one of the most disturbing films I have had the pleasure of watching. Also wrote my entire university dissertation on it. So, well, there we have it. Do you guys agree with that list? Were there any illegal horror movies that we missed? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below, and perhaps we can do a part five. Before I go, though, I just want to respond to a few comments from one of our last videos. Top five scary SCPs based on real things. Mark Nakash said, "I'm losing my." over Lucy's hat, that should be an SCP in itself, or number one on the list of mysterious objects said to cause hysteria. Um, I still don't understand the fascination with the hat. It is just a hat from H&M. It's pretty basic to be honest, but to each their own. Die733 said, Lucy, what's your favourite animal? <laughs> um, like a monkey, props. I like cats. Big fan of dogs. Oh, I love hippos. Liam Wagner said, the hat. Yes, the hat was back. Enormous Gaming said, Lucy SCP codename the Pale Queen Bows. Bow away. Good for you. And on that note, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another scary bit. And until next time, see you later. It also focuses on Sister Jeannie Desa- It also- <laughs> It also focuses on Sister Jeannie de Ang- Angus. Angie's? Sister Jeannie de Angers is sexually pro- <laughs> Although it received critical backlash, Freaks was-